to sum up that that world that we're used to, that you all grow up in, that you cut your teeth as uh, Mary who retired there, her entire career was in that world, right? Um, that I think is gone. We are gonna, that's gone. I, I would go so far as to say that's over at some of it. See, you know, there's a lot of pieces of it that are gonna play out, whatever, but I'm just saying in terms of where the energy of what's happening, it's not there. And I would argue these new systems are emerging now. They're not clear exactly how it works or whatever's gonna happen, but that's, that's the energy of the future. That's where things are going. There's enough of a toehold in all these things that you start to really think this going. And so you got to think about how do you assess that risk, but also where do you play that? Because I actually think in 50, 100, 200, 1,000 years from now, I honestly think, people are going to look back in the early part of the 21st century and say, man, that is when they went totally digital. They made, everybody got on computers, everyone got interconnected, and they were supercharged with this, the first era of AI, artificial intelligence. And they're going to say, damn, in that same early 21st century, they shifted to a kind of a sustainable economy, sustainable society. They basically figured out how to get on clean energy and kind of grow things sustainably in a way that's not, you know, basically digging up the dirt and kind of screwing up the environment that they were doing before. Damn, that's when they went sustainable. And they're going to say, and that's when the world went global. That's when it really was operating on a planetary scale, which is a scale that really has to last if you're going to think about a long-term future for the humanity on this planet. And they're going to finally say, oh my God, wouldn't it have been an amazing time to be alive at that time? Wouldn't it have been amazing to be in particularly that critical decade of the 2020s? when they basically made the beginning of that, laid those foundations, made the beginning of that shift, and ultimately laid the foundation for the world that we're enjoying today.